Thank you. 
We're very fortunate to have them, and of course, we acknowledge uh, that we are on uh, the land of the Kwantlen and the Ketsi and the Semiamu nations at this time. And we're grateful to be here. My name is Jeremy Sable. I'm the president of Stenberg College. I'm going to be your MC for this evening. I'm going to begin, as every fall ceremony does, with the recognition of Student of the Year nominees and winners. Every year, over 1,000 students enroll at Stenberg College. In fact, uh, at any given time, there's over 1,300 students at, at Stenberg College, so it's well over 1,000 now enroll each year. And they enroll to transform their lives through education. For them, Stenberg represents uh, a fresh start in many cases. For many, it represents a new lease on life when they graduate. Whether students are taking classes at our flagship campus in Surrey, or our satellite campuses throughout British Columbia, or in one of our regional labs in Calgary, Winnipeg, Halifax, anywhere online across Canada, as, as now many of our students are. Their profound personal and professional transformation unites their experience. And in recognition of their remarkable accomplishments, Stenberg annually presents the Student of the Year Award. All year long, staff and faculty at Stenberg College submit nominations of students who exemplify excellence in academics, leadership, attitude, community service, and spirit. We receive many nominations and stories of students who have gone above and beyond what is expected of them. Choosing one finalist per program is never easy, and choosing an eventual winner is even more difficult. In fact, uh, I've uh, happened by the room where they're making those choices. Often they break out into fist fights. Uh, such is the level of uh, intensity. <clears throat> the award ultimately goes to a student who embodies our mission to develop caring graduates who benefit their professional and personal communities. The winner receives a full tuition reimbursement up to a $20,000 maximum. The first runner-up receives a $5,000 uh, bursary and the second runner-up receives $2,500. Each program finalist receives a $1,000 tuition reimbursement. This year we received over 150 nominations from faculty and instructors, 
and as with every year, the stories uh, of these students' personal journey towards uh, Stenberg College and through the program uh, were inspirational, and, uh, and we were just overwhelmed by the, by the excellence within our student body. We'd like to congratulate the Student of the Year nominees, first of all. Um, a round of applause is, is, is welcome when we get to it. Uh, we would like now to congratulate uh, the, the program finalists. First, we're going to congratulate all of the nominees. I'm not going to list them. I'd just like a round of applause for the nominees in general. <laughs> the folks on stage who are nominated will know who they are. We'd like to now congratulate the program finalists. When your name is called, won't you please stand up at your seat so that you may be observed and recognized. From the Business Diploma Marketing Specialization, our finalist was Om Sanchatra, not attending. Cardiology Technologist finalist, Taryn Rowland, is not with us this evening. But our Counseling Therapist finalist for 1021, Tessa Tennant, is here. I'd like to bring Tessa Tennant up soon. Early Childhood Education Basic, Mavi Alessian Alvarez, not attending, Education Assistant Carol Mohanraj, I believe is here this evening. Healthcare Assistant Finalist Ruth Carla Aki is not here. Hospital and Nursing Unit Clerk Finalist Ashley Singh is here. <laughs> Medical Lab Assistant Mababe Aslamasamani is here. Optician Finalist Taylor McCarthy. Postgraduate Diploma in Canadian Nursing Finalist, Ira Mariano. Practical Nursing Finalist, Maria Volition. Pharmacy Technician Finalist, Courtney Regal is not attending, and Psychiatric Nursing Finalist, Farah Jamaluddin Sarani. Therapeutic Recreation Finalist, Serena Michaluk uh, is not attending, my goodness. Please give a round of applause for all of our finalists. All right. And uh, moving on to the runner-ups, or I believe that is most uh, properly pronounced runners-up. Uh, a little grammar correction there. We would now like to congratulate the first and second runners-up. I would like uh, both of these individuals to come down to the stage for a photo when your name is called, uh, where there you will be joined by Nishi Basra, Practical Nursing Education Delivery Manager, and Dr. Laurel Tian, the Counseling Therapist uh, Instructor that we have on stage this evening. So if Nishi and uh, Dr. Tian can come forward. Oh. It's Mona Kamali standing in for uh, <laughs> standing in for Nishi Basra. All right. So our practical nursing uh, uh, finalist, or pardon me, runner-up, is Maria Volashin. Second runner-up this year for Student of the Year. Please come down, Maria, if you can. And our first runner-up is from the Counseling Therapist Program, Tessa Tennant. Yeah. We now pause for a brief photo opportunity and a big round of applause for our runners-up. Excellent. The winner of our Student of the Year Award this year is an incredibly deserving individual, as you probably guessed. This individual comes from the Postgraduate Diploma in Canadian Nursing, graduate Ira Mariano. As Ira makes her way down to the front of the stage, I'm gonna say a few words about her. Growing up in the Philippines, Ira had a good life. 
She spent her childhood surrounded by family who meant everything to her. Many of her cousins became nurses, inspiring her to become a registered nurse herself. I was making a difference in her community, and after many rewarding years of nursing in the Philippines, she was ready for an adventure. She found Stenberg College's postgraduate diploma in Canadian nursing program and enrolled. She graduated from her program with honors and is now a provisional registered nurse in Canada, continuing to make a difference in her patients' lives. Her instructor has shared that Ira possesses a remarkable sense of empathy and a genuine concern for the well-being of others. Her compassion and willingness to help others make her an outstanding nurse and role model for fellow students. She's gonna tell you a little bit about herself, I, I believe, as she comes to the microphone, and you can read more about Ira in Success Magazine with the Q code on the back of your seat. Please welcome Ira Mariano to the microphone for her speech. Thank you. <laughs> a blessed evening, everyone. Thank you for being here with us to celebrate our success. My name is Ira Mariano, and I'm graduating from Postgraduate Diploma in Canadian Nursing. I am honored to receive this recognition of the Student of the Year Award. My journey started with a dream. Returning to school after 10 years was a big decision. Studying in a new country made it even more challenging. However, I set aside my fear. I choose to chase my dreams. In spite of uncertain life here in Canada, me and my husband knew that we had each other no matter what. I don't want to cry. <laughs> With excitement and high hopes, little by little, we learned to adapt the changes. In our surroundings, from weather to culture. We started to love this country as our new home, and we found our new family. Like any other student, I faced challenges, like how to balance my studies, work, and personal life. Even though I doubted myself at times, I pushed myself. As we all know, life doesn't stop when we go to school and we also had to work through our personal challenges. There have been times that I stumbled and fell and wanted to stay in my comfort zones. Remember that how we responded to our struggles is now part of our success. We learned that it's okay to lean on our loved ones for support. There are people who choose to stay with us even in our toughest time. For me, it's my friends, family, and my mentors. Thank you for supporting me as I chase my dreams. Impossible things can become possible when you believe in it and trust yourself. 10 years ago, I would have never imagined that I would be standing here in front of you today. But if you put heart and mind to something, you can do it. Something that can change your and your family's life. Step by step, you are making progress. If you are stuck, pause for a moment, regain your strength, and move forward. During my journey to becoming a registered nurse here in Canada, knowing that I had to take many assessments and examinations, I thought I would not make it. Like every graduate here, sitting here, I preserve. We made it. I am so grateful to my Stenberg family for guiding us from the start of our journey and opening the doors for many opportunities. To my mentors, thank you for sharing your knowledge and expertise. To my cohort, Pigeon 1021, thank you for sharing your journey through ups and downs, from doubts to success. Now, we can finally say we made it. To my family and friends, who became my prayer warriors in every battle, thank you. To my loving husband for a never-ending support and helping me to grow. Lastly, to God Almighty for guiding me to this spot, thank you. Currently, I am working as a full-time nurse at Nanaimo Regional General Hospital. I am completing my transitional practice experience with my preceptor, Cheryl. 
Thank you, Ate, for your patient while I'm learning to my new role. And to other staff, thank you for your support. I am eager to learn more and be the best version of myself. I would like to share my story with other international students to encourage them to trust the process. I know how hard to start all over again, but believe it is worth trying. Our sacrifices are temporarily, but our success will be permanent. I always look to Isaiah chapter 60, verse 22, which says, which when time is right, I, the Lord, make it happen. We are now celebrating one of our greatest achievements in life. We have chosen a career that will, will be our partner of li for a lifetime. Remember that we have come this far and we are strong. You are not alone. You may be entering another chapter of your life, but you have everything you need to succeed. We are now earning the fruit of our hard work sacrifices, sleepless nights, determination, hopes, and dreams. It's time for us to show the world that we can do and make a change in people's lives through our chosen careers. Congratulations, my fellow graduates. You have turned your dreams into reality. Thank you, and have a blast. Words that stand out to me there are, I'm eager to learn more and be the best version of myself. And I think that's uh, not only you know, words to, to live by and inspirational, but it very much uh, is relatable for everybody in blue up here on the stage and, and the folks in black as well. I think we'll understand that. That's, the, that's, that's what Stenberg is all about. That's, that's what all of this is about. Thank you very much, Ira, for those, uh, those words and for sharing uh, your personal story as well. Uh, we'd like to call forward Monica Malley, an instructor in the nurse and, and our nursing lab manager, to come forward to the stage to present a plaque to Ira. Oh, no, it's not going to be Sam. You guys keep changing up on me here. That's okay. Sam Moore is going to present the, the uh, plaque to Ira. Okay, we have a special presentation this evening. Uh, this is of the Nurses and Nurse Practitioners of BC Award for Student Leadership. I would like now to invite Jag Tack, Stenberg Nursing Program Director, and Kim Withers, Director of Membership Services at the Nurses and Nurse Practitioners of British Columbia, to come to the stage. They will be presenting this prestigious award. She's just changed the order, but um, I'll go first, not a problem. Um, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. It is with immense pleasure and pride that we get to honor one of our own, a remarkable individual whose dedication, passion, and leadership have set a shining example for all of us at Stenberg College. Today, we celebrate Haseen Mohammed, a practical nursing student who has not only excelled academically, but, ha but has also made an indelible mark in the realm of student leadership and advocacy. Haseen, if you could just make your way down here as I'm talking, that would be great too. Thank you. So Haseen Mohammed's journey at Stenberg College has been nothing short of inspiring. Not only has she, has she demonstrated exceptional academic proudness, but she has also shown a deep commitment to promoting excellence within the nursing community. It is a testament to her outstanding contributions that she has been recognized as a recipient of the prestigious Student Leadership Award for the Nurses and Nurses Practitioners of British Columbia. Among her many accomplishments, Haseen has served as a student representative for BCNU, which is the British Columbia Nursing Union, 
Human Rights and Equality Conference. She also represented our college as a student representative for the BCNU 2023 convention, showcasing her dedication to staying abreast of the latest development in the field of nursing. I'm almost done, hold on. In addition to these roles, Haseen has held the esteemed position of Practical Nursing Director for the Canadian Nursing Student Association, where she plays a pivotal role in fostering collaboration and camaraderie among nursing students nationwide. Furthermore, she is currently the student LPN counselor for NNPBC on my board, advocating for the rights and well-being for practical nursing students. Her involvement in the Provincial Nursing Network as an LPN member further attests to her commitment to advancing the nursing profession at large. As we celebrate Haseen's accomplishments today, let us also reflect on the values she embodies, empathy, integrity, and the relentlessness pursuit of excellence. May her journey continue to inspire us all, and may we uh, too strive to make a meaningful difference in this world. Congratulations, Sassine, on this well-deserved honor. We are immensely proud to call you a Stenberg College alumna. And I have my partner in crime here, Kim Worthers, who is our Director of uh, Community Memberships. Hi, everybody. Thank you very much. Um, I am, as Jake has said, I am from NNPBC, and that's the alphabet that stands for Nurses and Nurse Practitioners of BC. And basically, we help nurses and student nurses uh, put their best professional face forward. Uh, so when you're having a rough day or a rough shift and you want to complain, we'll teach you how to professionally complain. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Um, and we go to task with uh, the public and with the government to remind them that nursing uh, is a skill set onto its own. And uh, we do have some ideas about policy changes. And we do have an idea about how healthcare and the landscape of healthcare should look in BC. Not just our beloved physician colleagues, but nursing too. I'm very, very excited to present this award. And once again, just to echo that this award is not uh, a name that we just picked out or an academic award because leadership does not always translate to academia. We said, who is the leader within the nursing class? And right away, Hasin's name uh, came forward. So on behalf of NNPBC, and um, then we'll go, and I'm wearing heels, so we may go without incident, we may not on these stairs. I can't guarantee that, and I won't. Hasin, congratulations. Thank you very much, Jag and Kim. Good luck getting down the stairs. And congratulations to Haseen. All the students, oh, sorry, all the graduates who were telling me you were feeling nervous just prior to coming out here, you'll see that we're buying all kinds of time for you to get comfortable with going across the stage. Uh, but we are, we are nearing that time. Um, first of all, we have the traditional presentation from valedictorians. We have two outstanding students who have been named valedictorian this uh, fall. Both students have excelled in their respective programs and are student of the year finalists. The first graduate I would like to introduce is Taylor McCarthy, representing healthcare programs. We have two uh, sort of schools within uh, Stemmer College Healthcare, and then we also have a group of uh, programs that are uh, human services. Uh, Taylor is representing the healthcare programs this evening and is graduating from the optician program tonight. Her instructor and program department head, Rajman, uh, pardon, uh, yes, Rajman says that Taylor was a super performer, a super performer, I think that's capitalized. She was a keen learner and has always excelled in her classes. Taylor checks all the boxes of an ideal optician. She's approachable, friendly, curious, and a subject matter expert. She will be in high demand in the industry. Please welcome Taylor McCarthy.
Hello and good evening, fellow graduates, faculty, friends, and family. Tonight we gather to celebrate the success of every graduate and the journey they have taken to be here. Thank you for being here to share in that celebration. My name is Taylor McCarthy, and I am a graduate from the Licensed Optician Program. This night is very special to me. Uh, having graduated high school in 2020 during the pandemic, I never got to experience a graduation. This is my first. <laughs> um, so I find this moment very surreal, being able to stand in cap and gown and all that that represents as a student of the year finalist and one of your valedictorians to deliver the address to all of you lovely people. I'm sure many of you did not expect your path to lead you here to this moment. Had you answered differently to one question or chose one different outcome, that you would not be where you are now. For myself, I never thought I would be an optician. I was on my path to becoming a theoretical astrophysicist. <laughs> I wanted to play with numbers and think big philosophical thoughts about the universe. And while this is still a great passion for me, I found it was not my true calling. I studied astrophysics for a year at university on the online environment that many schools were not prepared for. It left me very confused and alone, hidden behind the screen with students and classmates I would never meet. I struggled with my studies, faced with the feeling that I would not be good enough to achieve my dream of being a physicist, which I had built in my head for many years. With this time and a lot of soul searching, I discovered that academia was not for me, and I wanted to work with people and make the world a better place. So I began on my search for a path that would combine my two loves, science and people, and was grateful to stumble upon opticianry and grateful to have had the opportunity to study at Stenberg. Its tailored online platform allowed for me to study virtually and still thrive, which was something I had not experienced my first go around. My cohort bonded very quickly, uh, solidifying a team that we leaned on until graduation. When we met in person, it felt like old friends reuniting, which was a great experience. The programs at Stenberg are unique in that they give you hands-on experience in a professional environment. Our instructors thoroughly prepared us for what we were going to experience when we got into our professions and what we needed to succeed, something that I have now benefited greatly in in my now career. And while I could talk for hours about the fascinating things I have learned about the eyes that you would not want to hear, um, I can tell you that the most valuable things that I have learned did not come from my textbooks, but the people I encountered along the way. A major theme in speeches like this is to help bring closure to the time and experience and say goodbye to one chapter as we start another. But I believe in a sort of ebb and flow, if you will. Um, and as I reflect on the things that I've learned and how life's greatest lessons are from the people and the experiences that you meet, I think it's clear that education is forever ongoing and it never ends. So while you are constantly learning and growing from those around you, we all come from different backgrounds and walks of life which bring different experiences and knowledge to the table. It is when we share this with each other that we find our most success. It is from my classmates. And now, friends, I have learned lessons like you are never old to start something new, and that helping others prompts your own success. Success has different definitions to different people, but I firmly believe that it means that it stems from kindness and hard work. So while we should certainly celebrate our own hard work that has brought us to this moment, it is most important to think about who we are and where we want to go and how we will conduct ourselves to get there and the people we would like to be. Every single one of us can work towards making the world a better place with our interactions. Take the lessons that you've learned and the experiences of yours and others and pour your heart into what you do and it will show. Work hard and success will be achieved. Someone I often listen to is Alan Watts and he has a quote that says, the real secret of life is be completely engaged in what you do, instead of calling it work, call it play. This is cliche to the saying that you, when you love your job, you'll never work a day in your life, but there is truth to this. Joy and passion are seen through those who put their love into their work. I leave this with you to ponder as you work towards this feeling, putting your love into your work so that you may continue to shine as you do tonight. Congrats to the graduates, you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Taylor. You know, I considered being a uh, theoretical physicist once, <clears throat> a long time ago. Um, so 
it's uh, interesting. But uh, then I took my first physics class, and uh, and that was that. You know, I decided. Was... I'd like to uh, call forward Raj Mann to present a plaque to Taylor, and thank her once again for a tremendous speech. Thanks very much, Taylor. And while they're having their photo opportunity, I'll speak a little bit about our second valedictorian this evening, who is Tessa Tennant, representing the Human Services Programs. Tessa is graduating tonight from the Counseling Therapist Program. Her instructor and former president of the Canadian Professional Counseling Association, the CPCA, Rosemary Fromson, had this to say about Tessa. Tessa's brilliant and quick. She provided essential content to our discussions, and she has chosen to work with folks who have developmental disabilities. This is a passion area for her. Given who Tessa is, she will be fantastic with this demographic, and I'm sure with all others as well. Please welcome valedictorian for the Human Services Program, Tessa Tennant. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. My name is Tessa, and in October of 2021, I began my journey in the Counseling Therapist Program here at Stenberg College. To say I learned a lot over these past years would be a profound understatement. And standing here tonight, it is an honor to express my gratitude for all of those life-changing lessons. Starting a new school was a prospect that I could only describe as terrifying. The story of my past included chapters of unmet potential, emotional scars, and a tapestry of loneliness. I had always felt out of place. In this unknown territory, it was like a megaphone to every fear I'd ever had. That same old story would replay in my mind, leaving me stuck. I had writer's block because who wants to write the tale of a solo voyage into the academic abyss? And then I heard your stories, my fellow graduates. There were chapters of abandonment, isolation, regret, illness, broken homes, and even death. Not everyone had the luxury of supportive friends and family. Giving up may have felt tempting. Yet every single one of you here today, you picked up that pen and are now authoring a story of courage, faith, destiny, and achievement. There was no more solo voyage. My story became rich with remarkable and inspirational new characters from all walks of life. Tonight I give thanks to my teachers who encouraged my growth and worked hard to support my success. And I also give thanks to my classmates for accepting me, someone who used to dread coming to school every day due to bullying and exclusion. You all taught me that it doesn't have to be that way. We inspired each other with our resilience. We showed one another the power of friendship. And together we proved that courage is not always about facing a threat head on, but instead, it's about confronting the unknown with an open heart. We are all here today because we refused to ignore our potential. Now let us be reminded that graduation is not the end of our story, but a means to a greater purpose. With our work, we have the opportunity to serve and uplift others. And you, me, and the good Lord all know the world could use a little more of that these days. <laughs> this day, is a testament to the potential for goodness within each and every one of us. Our education has blessed us with a greater understanding, not only of our professions, but of ourselves and what we are all capable of. So congratulations to the class of 2023. May you all keep on winning. Thank you, Tessa, for being an outstanding example for our Counseling Therapist Program and for such a well-composed, well-thought-out 
uh, presentation speech. You've already made us very proud. And uh, to present the plaque is uh, counseling therapist instructor, Dr. Dr. Laurel Tian. Another round of applause for our second valedictorian this evening, Tessa. Okay, here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. Presenting uh, the graduates by name, uh, all perfectly pronounced uh, this evening, is uh, our Director of Education Delivery, Avni Gill. Our first group this evening crossing the stage will be our cardiology technologist cohort. These individuals started their program in December of 2021, so long ago. They're being presented to this evening by Jonathan Aquino and Arena Powell. We'd like to call them forward uh, to present. Come on forward. And just to cue them, the cardiology program from December 2021 needs to now cross the stage. Karen Dizen. Zara Farhanka. Gurpreet Kang. Mark Pagyul Kang. Sunia to fail. Of a round of applause for our Cardiotech grads from December 2021. This program is a much, much larger group than this, I assure you, but uh, our students are located right across Canada from Gander, Newfoundland, all the way to Vancouver Island. And uh, it's taken online most of this program with labs across the country. So. Not everyone can be here this evening uh, and we'll make the trip in. We have two uh, counseling therapist cohorts, uh, one after the other here. We're gonna call forward first the counseling therapist cohort from June of 2021. That's when they began their program. Presented to this evening by Miriam Morgan and uh, the inestimable Dr. Laurel Tien. Caroline Vietniks. Brianna Dick. Yeah. Rachel Faulkner. Yeah. Gurpreet Gill. Christine Goodwin. Amin Jaffer. Mike Stotland. Catherine Spear. Logan Wirtz. 
Our counseling graduates will fulfill an essential role in society by helping others overcome challenges, achieve goals, and better their lives. Through their practicum providing low barrier or no barrier counseling services, these students have already contributed to those in need of professional support and will go on to do so for many years. Won't you please give a round of applause for the graduates from 0621. Fantastic. I'm going to ask that Miriam and Dr. Tian remain on stage. We'll now bring forward the counseling therapist graduating cohort who began with us in October of 2021. Christine Beveridge. Swan Booth. Sarah Burridge. Christina Dickiesa. Gerlene Gill. Gemma Ketchin. Jennifer Kirk. Jackie Letcher. Nicole Lord. Ben Lubin. Angel Mallet. Krista Mooney. Bunny Oach. Natasha Politi. <laughs> Melissa Fippen. <laughs> Dana Pilkey. <laughs> Shannon Sedmack. Krista Seafried. Harmanjeet Sekon. Simran Sekon. Tessa Tennant. Shazana Zarok. Well, that group all turned up this evening. Fantastic. Let's have a big round of applause from the graduating class, counseling therapist, October 2021. I noticed that the uh, hooting and hollering was starting to warm up in that, uh, for that group's presentation. We, sounding good, it's promising for the rest of the evening. As that group has their photo opportunity and uh, then starts to filter off stage, we will bring forward graduates from the Early Childhood Education Program. The first group coming up this evening is the ECE cohort from April 2022. 
Magnificent, Pat Bates is here this evening and will be presenting to the graduating class from 0422 Early Childhood Education. Ronette Arleno. Donna Lynn Dumalung. Claudia Cervantes. Lorena Flores. Gina Garcia. Maria Carolina Garcia Lanz. Alejandra Gonzalez Varela. Atie Kiampur. Mariam Luckett. Cointa Certuche. EC graduates can take pride in the fact that by laying the foundation for a child's future learning, they are, in fact, laying secure foundations for the future of our society. This particular uh, program is a wonderful blend of uh, students from here locally in Canada and from uh, many other countries in the world. It uh, gives it uh, an, an international flavor that, uh, that we like, like very much, very positive energy around Stember. Congratulations. The graduates from April 2022. Right close on their heels are the graduates from July 2022 cohort. They're being presented to this evening by Sabrina Magalhães. <laughs> Pat, if you wish to remain, you may do so, of course. Mace al-Baghdadi. Amal Alahak. Ellis Angela Andrade. Rajini Arora. Habi Babatunde. Okay. <laughs> Tisha. Jolene Christie. Muna Albana. Chandana Gupta. Tina Huang.
Sohi Jian. Seth Keaton Core. Adina Khan. Asma Keder. Monica Kim. Rashmi Rangre. Monica Sugger. Madhi Vadani Sengutavan. Fung Trung. Lucy Shi. Bruce Zhang. <laughs> Fabing Zhang. <laughs> Zoe Zhao. I think it's pretty clear to see the bond of these individuals. Uh, form with each other and also with their, their teachers. It's uh, pretty wonderful to, to watch. Um, let's have a round of applause for the graduates from early childhood education, the folks who started in July 2022. Uh, these graduates are from September of 2022, uh, and that will be the last of the full early childhood education cohorts this evening. Sharon Acosta. Mandeep Taliwal. Aaron Edie. Perla Guevara Mendoza. <laughs> Melissa Lerma. <laughs> Janika Minot. Christine Simpson. <laughs> Natalia Valdivicio. <laughs> Kathleen Whalen. And as that class assembles for their photo, I would just like to point out that Pat Bates was just hugged more times in the last five minutes than I have been in my whole life. <laughs> That's quite extraordinary. Big round of applause for all of our EC grads, and most especially this group here, the 
September 2022 graduating class. Outstanding. We also have a uh, what's called a post basic program for early childhood education. These are, this program is for individuals who've already completed a uh, full ECE uh, delivery. And we're going to get Pat Bates more hugs because I'm going to ask that she remains on stage to present to the ECEPB grads from August 2022. Kimberly. Anne Capino. <laughs> Ashley Hare. <laughs> Monette Magadas. Michaela Wong. <laughs> Mary May Abella. <laughs> Myung Suk Kim. As I mentioned, these graduates have built upon their early childhood education training from uh, the past to further understand working with infants, toddlers, and children with exceptionalities. This particular group, as I mentioned, started with us in August of 2022. Let's have a full round of applause for this group graduating. We're gonna now bring forward graduates from the Healthcare Assistant Program. This is our uh, with co-op version. They started with us in July of 2022. I'm going to ask that Marilyn Lim Valencia and uh, Saminder Sam Moore come forward to make the presentation to the graduates. And here they come now. HCA, July 2022. Gina Piokinto. Janeth Tubbleton. One of our smaller groups this evening, the graduates from HCA Co-op July 2022, but let's give them a big round of applause nonetheless. <laughs> Okay, we've got more HCAs coming. There's uh, three more cohorts of, of those. We're going to call forward the HCA and HCA uh, PP. These are, these are uh, students who uh, uh, um, had their uh, education provided for in some measure by uh, the government and uh, by the uh, Fraser, uh, um, pardon me, the Fraser Health Authority. Uh, not all of them, but some of them. So we'd like to acknowledge uh, that and the assistance that has been available to help uh, bring more HCAs into the healthcare system, an absolutely vital role that these individuals will go forward and perform in a, in a system that needs them desperately. Marilyn Lim Valencia and Saminder Moore will be asked to remain on stage, there they are. And uh, this group started with us in October, 2022. Karen Casabel. Mandeep Kaur Chahil. <laughs> Zyreen Kermeng. <laughs> Akam Noor Dillon. <laughs> Rebecca Flores. Chica Galora. Karen Deep Kaur Graywall. Mm -hmm. 
Navdeep Kaur Gill. Jasmine Kaur. Tamrat Gelbarasi. Amandeep Katra. Frenzy Lou Labarnas. Natasha Narayan. Saint Wosu. Mylene Operio. Liliana Maria Quintero Franco. Manreet Rendawa. Mandeep Rendawa. Trina Thackeray. Nikki Chili. HCA is Stenberg's longest standing program. We've had it for uh, just over 30 years. And our graduates are recognized and in demand because of their excellent skills, which they develop over seven months of education. And our employment, no surprise, from this program, as with most of our programs indeed, is 100%. It speaks to the demand uh, for them in the system and, of course, the, the quality skills that they have. This group, again, started with us in October 2022, and I uh, would like to uh, congratulate them with a round of applause. HCA grads. We have another HCA uh, co-op variant. These ones also started in October of 2022. We are going to ask our presenters to remain on stage for this group as well. Hannah Apia. Joanne De Leon. Brenda Jeptu. Kamele Sandra. Ronald Kemboy. Brian Kibbett. <laughs> Kenneth Kumtai. <laughs> Kevin Lillay. <laughs> Arnold Kipcore. Kevin Maru. Oluwa Toyin. Marion Tanai. Bea Vasquez. And this is one of our groups that uh, has a blend of students from around the world, including, I believe, our first students from uh, Kenya. Uh, so congratulations to the HCA, HCA co-op grads from January of 2023. <laughs> Marilyn, Sam, I ask that you present now to the HCHA co-op grads from January 2023. We have a few of them. Tremendous. 
Daphne Sarah Aguilar. Jason Caberto. Jenny Kim. Ashnita Kumar. Shristi Pradhan. And with that, Marilyn and Sam are done their duty. Congratulations to the HCA graduates of January 2023 and to all the HCA graduates uh, this evening. And I'm going to ask that uh, Instructor Nikki Cross come forward because we are going to be presenting. Yes, yes. We are going to be presenting to the uh, hospital spe uh, support specialist and nursing unit clerk uh, cohort from March of 2022. Swati Bala. Narinder Bogal. Mandeep Sheena. Bal Claire. Sandeep Jenda. Froilin Humamos. Meninder Sandu. Ramindeep Tind. Amy Zing. This diploma trains the very best of the administrative staff who greet us in many healthcare settings throughout British Columbia. Their friendly faces, positive attitudes, and admin proficiency keep our healthcare systems running smoothly and efficiently. And there they are, the graduates from March 2022, hospital sports specialist and nursing unit clerk. You'll see them soon at a healthcare facility near you. We have one more hospital sports specialist nursing unit clerk uh, cohort. These ones started in June 2022. We'd ask that Nikki Cross remain on stage to present. Serene Pandal. <laughs> Laurel Hackett. <laughs> Sergeet Jeswell. Raminpreet Kaur. Kaylee Laidlaw. Magali Lama. Layla Mangobal. None. Manpreet Minhas. Eliza Monsalis. Jenna Marcilla. Ashley Singh. Bernadette Villanova.
the graduates of the, from the Hospital Support Specialist and Nursing Unit Clerk Program that started with us in June of 2022. A big round of applause for this fun group. <laughs> Kathy Dick and Angela Van Worden to come forward. If you're here, won't you please come down the red carpet so that you may present to the medical lab assistant cohort from July 2022. Oh, we've got three, uh, three of them. All right, here we go. Barty Aurora. <laughs> Jenna Beaton. Krizia Mari Polino. Jami An Polito. Patrick Rabaletto. Ewell Yosef. The medical laboratory assistant program is perfect for anyone who loves to work with people but isn't squeamish about blood. And these are the folks that uh, draw samples from uh, your arm, other places at medical labs uh, around the province. Our graduates have learned to work in vari with various patients and developed excellent technical skills, uh, which are necessary when you're doing this sort of work. Uh, also patience, empathy, and understanding. Uh, these are folks you want on your side when you're having your blood drawn. Medical lab assistants from July 2022. We have another medical lab assistant group coming forward. These ones starting with us in October 2022. I'd ask that Kathy and Angela and uh, whoever else is Nicolette's in there as well uh, are presenting. Ariane Cantata. Natalie Craik. <laughs> Mahbube Aslami Sami. <laughs> Jason Katili. <laughs> Sung Hee Lee. Chelsea Noel. Uju Okafor. Mirasol Pascal. Ladies and gentlemen, the medical lab assistant graduates from October 2022. Congratulations to all of them. We have next the graduates from our optician program. These students started with us in April of 2022. I'm going to let Yisu, Bozkaya, Carl, Chua, and Raj Mann know that they're presenting. Oh, and Florence Chang has snuck in there as well. My apologies, Florence. Arjun Batty. <laughs> Twinkle Dewan. Katrina Khan. Cindy Lee. T. 
Taylor McCarthy. Daniela Wallace. Erica Yu. <laughs> Clearly a popular group. The opticians uh, from April 2022. How about a big round of applause and uh, maybe an extra high in there as well. <clears throat> Just while they're assembling, I'll stay, say a few words about them. These combine customer service, professional practice skills, and fashion sense with technical health care knowledge. Quite a combination. When completing the national licensing exam, they would become integral members of the eye care team. Optician graduates from April 2022, give them a round of applause as they uh, make their way off stage. We have now the postgraduate diploma in Canadian nursing grads. All of these graduates are from, uh, from overseas originally. They've come here to Canada to make their way into the... <laughs> yes, and including the Philippines. Uh, uh, clearly a proud nation. That's wonderful to see. They're going to be presented to you this evening by Saminder Moore and Irene Paradis. Won't you come forward? Jonathan Arca. Crystalline Bellin. <laughs> Gwen Wee Far Alpa. <laughs> Mark Dave Fakunla. <laughs> Danica Francisco. Trixia Jamaro. Chris Lorraine Loretto. Fetus Joyville. Phenomenal. Go ahead and get that flag up for the photo. Phenomenal. At the risk of, it, of leaving some of it, I think that whole group there is from the Philippines. Fan, fantastic uh, to have them walking across the stage after an almost two-year journey. They started their program in September of 2021. And congratulations to them all and the best of luck as they go forward. Uh, not to be outdone, we have uh, another cohort of uh, postgraduate diploma in Canadian nursing graduates. These ones started in October of 2021, uh, also being presented to you by Sam and Irene. Marikar Brabonaria. <laughs> Donna Carpio. Sherlyn Estrella. Jamar Dule. Catherine Galgo. Elvis Marcelino Gerardo. Ira Moranio. Ray Sean Pill Pill. Daffodil Ramos. Roxanne Velasco.
There we go, another group of individuals who've come from far away to study here, to live here, and to contribute here in the most uh, important way possible. The graduates from Postgraduate Diploma in Canadian Nursing, October 2021. These are our practical nursing cohorts. This one uh, started with us in October of 2021. I'm gonna ask that, well, I know that Nishi is not here this evening, so I'm gonna ask that Monica Mali come forward to present. Sam, you can join her if you wish, if you'd like to support. Practical nursing, October 21. Jan Badili. Jasmine Chima. Rosaline Chima. Carlo Cruz. Karen Dule. Paige Fanning. <laughs> Kylie French. <laughs> Manthaj Gill. <laughs> Jasmine Graywall. Kieran Graywall. Macy Gutierrez. Roina Husseini. Hannah Kang. Samantha Kidd. Lydia Kim. Tyrone Lim. Katrine Malabanan. Sham McCallell. Candice Faye Navado. Joella May Palo. Erindeep Sandhu. Shivani Sidhu. Melvin Teo. Kieran Verk. Graduates from our PN programs consistently exceed both national and provincial standards on the regulatory exam and have an excellent reputation in industry. As with all of our graduates, they will be going straight into jobs that need them there badly. This is the practical nursing cohort that began with us in October of 2021. Let's give them a big round of applause. Most probably another large group, I'm gonna ask but Monica and Sam, stay with us. We're gonna do some more presenting here. This time to the practical nursing cohort from February of 2022. Aditya Ajmeri. Yeah. 
Iman Balti. Joanne Boado. Kathleen Caballero. Zachary Davies. Gajo Didwal. Carolina Gemble. Amin Gill. Furman Gill. Bhavan Manhas. Haseen Mohammed. Philip John Nguyen. Clara Lagutsky. Rihanna Nisperos. Gajal Power. Gurnur Sekon. Yasmin Ann Samila. Regina Soko. Victoria Swanson. Nicole Vizcara. Maria Voloshin. Say Juan. <laughs> Our graduates from the PN program have mastered the theoretical components of nursing and the characteristics that will make them valuable in the healthcare system. Critical thinking, leadership, awareness, teamwork, empathy, of course, and the passion for delivering exceptional patient care. I'd like to thank you in advance for the excellent care we know you will go forward and provide as nurses to our communities. Let's have a big round of applause. For the PN graduates from October 21 and February 2022. Our next group coming forward and being presented to by Sarah Hoagland. I'd like to ask forward, please. Our next group is a pharmacy technician diploma from May 2022. Michael Archer. Sandeep Basra. Gabriel Becker McDermott. Maria Fatima Leno. Once a smaller group, we deliver this program right throughout the province of British Columbia, so uh, perhaps some uh, of the graduates were not able to make the trip this evening. We thank those that did join us, and we'd like a round of applause to congratulate the PTD graduates from May 2022. We do have another cohort of pharmacy technician graduates. These ones started with us in September of 2022. I'd like to ask Sarah to remain in place to make the presentations. Coral Aberdeen. Celeste De Longchamp. Aaron Hafner. Sarah McLean. Well, there we go, another relatively uh, small group. 
As you probably are aware, pharmacy technicians are integral members of the healthcare team who prepare and compound medications. We depend on them with their accuracy and attention to detail and our overall well-being. Let's put our hands together and congratulate the small but mighty graduating class of September 2022. And now, another one of our programs that we deliver online and right around the province is our regional diploma in psychiatric nursing. Uh, these graduates began their lengthy journey with us in March of 2021. They're going to be presented to you this evening by Brittany Friesen and Sasha Rourke. Angelica Alquiros. Manreet Bagri. Heidi Bastine. Kazea Bellong. Ashley Craven. Taya Damont. Grace Dobrovolny. Jaspreet Gill. Paul Gregorio. Farah Jamaluddin Sarani. Prabsharn Kaur. Najma Koser. Mandeep Kaur. Chongnan Liu. Gurveer Mahil. Victoria Power. LD Pragados. Jamie Penzi. <laughs> Jessica Van Vliet. Stenberg Psychiatric Nursing Program is the only one that we're aware of in North America where theory is learned entirely online. We have graduates, as I mentioned, here from all over British Columbia. This is a just over two year long program, so these folks have had a long journey with us. A very challenging and rewarding field that is continually in dire need of more nurses. As you no doubt have heard at some point or another in the media. Registered psychic nurses uh, care for those with mental health, uh, mental illness, sorry, addictions and physical and developmental disabilities. And we're grateful for the work that you will do in your communities. Let's have a big round of applause for a big group. Already Piano 321. And we want to thank uh, all of those of you who traveled uh, here this evening because we know that many of you did. And as we near the end of our program, we have our education assistant cohort from August 2022. And we call forward Natalie Taylor Lane, there she is now, to present. Jennifer Andrews. Gurjinder Dillon. Daniela Dreske. Tanya Helm.
Gina Hyron. Jody Hope. Srijana Karki. Davina Price. Crystal Ramos. Natalia Soboleva. Brishna Tata. Kareen Chepkama. Michelle Trisovic. Bincy Walia. Education assistants work with students of all ages and abilities in various settings who require additional support with special needs, academic, academics, behaviors, and English language learning. Grad EAs make a real difference in the education system and work towards equal opportunities for success for all students. Yet another group of individuals badly needed in, uh, in our schools today. Congratulations to all of them. The Education Assistant graduates from August 2022 cohort. All right. They are last, but they are never least. We have a cohort here from uh, our Therapeutic Recreation Diploma. These uh, students started with us in May of 2022. I'm going to ask that Cheryl Bain come forward, and also Allison Kochi, instructors. THRD0522. Mary Grace Bandoy. <laughs> Hilary Burge. Manpreet Thaliwal. Gracia Guzman Rodas. Tiana Moore. Elise Muller. Maria Lazell. <laughs> Therapeutic recreation assistants are in demand in various care settings and play a vital role in promoting and facilitating healthy lifestyles for seniors or older adults. It's a great fit for people who personally enjoy recreation and sharing their hobbies with others. Let's have that rousing final round of applause. Therapeutic Rec grads from May 2022. And just a final few thank yous. Like uh, to thank all of the individuals sitting in the front row, the faculty and staff who, as you can tell, care very deeply about their students and put their heart and soul into every single day of work at Stanmer College to help facilitate uh, the learning process for our uh, students. Um, graduates, I'd like to ask you uh, for a round of applause that acknowledges all these folks out here who've come to support you this evening and supported you throughout all of your education. And then we'll share uh, and hopefully can pull together our largest round of applause yet one more time for all of the graduates who may stand now, 
Stand up. Graduates, fall 2023. Congratulations. You can remain standing. We're going to attempt to get off the stage safely here uh, without any fainting. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming, making the trip, fighting the, fighting the traffic, and being here this evening. Uh, we're going to exit stage this side, everybody.